Jiggy cat on a damn villain spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today, and I hope you guys are staying safe out there. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about on how to install Easy PKG Extractor for PlayStation 4. Note, this only works for fire, or excuse me, firmware 5.05, and this doesn't work for later firmware. So please do not ask in the comment section if it does work for 7.02 or anything like that. Strictly, it is for 5.05, and this is going to be a method on how to extract any game or any homebrew to a US USB stick as a PKG file. So this is basically a easier method on how to extract package files from the PlayStation 4, which is pretty cool. And I do want to go ahead and get started on the prerequisites for today. And anything that I'll state will be in a link in the description down below. So once again, you need a modded PlayStation 4 that is on firmware 5.05. For today's example, I'll be using my PS4 Pro that is on 5.05. Note once again, you cannot do this on firmware higher than 5.05 as of right now. That may be changing you know very soon uh due to the flow but that's a whole nother topic but as of right now just five excuse me 5.05 systems another thing you'll need is either the ps4 r exploit host menu or any exploit host of your choice so irregardless if you're using al azaris uh ps4 r or just any other web kit either your own that you made from your pc as long as your ps4 can be exploited with hen then you should be fine with this of course you need the easy pkg extractor uh that pkg from lappy so shouts out to you and thank you for giving me the opportunity to beta test this cool application and make sure it's the version 1.1 which i will have that in the link in the description down below since version 1.0 the original one uh had some you know bugs and issues which has been ironed out thus that's why i'm making the video on this one um as well you need a usb stick either formatted to fat32 or xfat for this process i do recommend that you have a uh usb stick that is relatively on xfat rather than fat32 and it's over than 32 gigabytes or more in size for today's video i'm using my 500 gigabyte external hdd that is on uh xfat only due to the fact that playstation 4 games are large in size it's not like ps2 or even like ps3 which games are basically under the 25 gigabyte range or even under you know 30 gigabytes at most uh but ps4 games can be very large in size like you know you got games like final fantasy 15 you also have games like grand theft auto 5 and such and so forth but with that being all out the way and the prerequisites we're just going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things and then i'm going to show you guys on how to get this set up on the playstation 4 Alrighty, so as of right now, you guys should be ready to go on the PC side of this tutorial. What you need to do as of right now, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites, is in the link in the description down below or in my pinned comment, I will have the actual file that we need for today, um, which is the PKG extractor. Make sure to utilize version 1.1 from my link in the description down below because I know it's the working version and not like an older build of this. But what we need to do once you have it on your desktop, what we need to do is go into file explorer so let me just open up file explorer we need to go and plug in my usb so i have my usb right here and we need to verify one thing and i do recommend for this process having a larger size usb as i stated in the intro so if you can see here i am using my 500 gigabyte uh, hdd drive and it's already on x fat and you can see that i have a relatively enough space to at least dump one game that's one thing i do want to state as well um make sure you have space to dump or basically dump your game because if you have you know limited space it's not going to work out well for you what we want to do as of right now um let's say if you're on fat 32 which you could still be for this process if you're trying to dump smaller games but if you're on ntfs we need to basically uh reformat our hdd now i'm not going to show you uh basically i'm not going to reformat my, my hdd since i have important documents on it but i am going to show you guys on the process and steps on how to do that if your thing is on ntfs so if you go into properties and your thing says ntfs all you got to do is go right click over your usb drive go into format uh, where it says capacity, just choose the highest. If your thing is on NTFS, just switch it over to XFAT. Go to default allocation size. Volume label is just the label of your USB or what you name it. I'll just call mine the 500 gigabyte one since I could differentiate that since I have multiple drives. Make sure quick format is on. Hit start. 
and then a uh, hit format but one thing i do want to stay here please back up your data before doing this because as what it says here um anytime you reformat your hcd or usb or with all data on this disk and then hit okay i'm not gonna hit okay since i basically have important data but once you hit okay and you reformat your hard drive and it gives you the um little notification all you would have to do is go back into properties and in the file system it will say xfat so assuming that you guys are already on an xfat uh usb hcd now since i showed you guys on how to do that if you're not what we need to do is go into find our pkg and just drag it to the root of our usb that's how simple it is now what we want to do since we already verified that we have enough space on our acd is go to the playstation 4 plug in our xfat external acd install hen onto our playstation 4 or enable it i should say and then what we're going to do is dump the game itself and install the actual package file so i'll meet you guys back on the ps4 Alrighty, so as of right now, you should be on your PlayStation 4. We already transferred over the actual PKG itself. As you can see here, I already have the actual package file installed onto my device. What I'm gonna do is just delete it so I can show you guys on how to do this from start to finish. And then as of right now, your PlayStation 4 should have your external HDD device that is, you know, formatted to either XFAT or FAT32. But what we're gonna do now is go to our settings, go into our user guide, go into user guide again and i'm just going to be using my webkit exploit i'll be using ps4r if you guys don't know even how to set that up i will have a card right now for that video but you can use any webkit exploit of your choice whether if you're using like l azure's dns something from the pc a esp uh you know device of that nature but once you have your webkit exploit and of course you're on a ps4 that's 5.05 just go ahead and launch the hen payload I am using version 2.1.1 by Sistro. Once it's fully done, all we have to do is go back to our home menu. And what we need to do now is go to settings, scroll all the way down to debug settings. And from here, we need to go to all the way at the top, actually, go into game, go into package installer, and install the first package. So. Here's the package we're going to be installing now, which is the uh, easy PKG extractor. And then we're going to go back out to my um, main menu here. And we're just going to go and launch the homebrew application. Now I'm going to give a quick rundown on how it works. So basically, once you launch the actual application, what it will do is basically um, find all of your games that you have installed onto your device. So I showcase here, you can see that I have NBA 2K14, Watch Dogs, Netflix, um, Destiny. And you can just see all of my uh, PlayStation four titles i'm going to try to find a ps4 title that is not large in size so for example we're going to be doing adventures of pip since it's only uh, 154 megabytes so all you would have to do for this process is super simple is just hit x and then at the bottom right here you can see that it's dumping my pkg so of course depending on the file size of the game um it will take longer but you should also hear a little audio notification saying that the copy is successful and just to test that um this fully works and that your game basically dumped correctly what i'm going to do is scroll all the way down to adventure pip i'm going to delete the game itself so you can see that i can reinstall this fake package file so if i go into settings um scroll all the way down to debug settings game package installer you can see that my game of choice that we just dumped is now on my actual um, pkg or basically on my external hdd device so that's why i did stated before if you were trying to dump a large game make sure you have you know enough file space but what we're going to do is just launch into um adventures of pip just wait for it to load so just waiting for it to do its thing so once it gets back to basically the main menu, we should be fine for this process. And okay, so yeah, you can see that the game fully loads successfully. And essentially, if you were trying to do a larger game, uh, go back in an easy PKG extractor. What I'm gonna do is basically do a larger file size. Um, I'm not gonna do uh, 
when it's too big since that will take forever i'll do something like literally mm, something around the 10 gigabyte range um i just gotta find my games but i really do like the gui uh lappy did a great job for that how it pulled the actual like um applications uh wallpaper or the icon zero png i'm trying to find a game that's at least 10 gigabytes but at showcase there you can see that um a lot of games are you know larger size so for example um we could do setting kaguya php splash i'm gonna go ahead and dump that to my device so as of right now of course like i stated before depending on what file or how big your game is it could take you know hours on end or it could even take like you know a minute if it's like some small like namco game for example but what i'm gonna do now is cut the video right here come back and then i'm gonna go to my pc to showcase to you guys that um the application is now on my hdd device and then we could you know transfer it to our pc if we wanted to or back it up to our file server if we wanted to so that's what i'm going to do here cut the video and i'll see you guys back onto the ps4 and the pc Alrighty, so as of right now my game has successfully transferred over to my hcd as you see here it says you know it's copy successful just to showcase to you guys that my um game has successfully dumped been dumped on my hcd i'm going to go into my debug settings and then I am actually going to go into game package installer. And then as of right now, you can see that I already have setting Kaguya PHP splash, which was the game that has officially dumped. Now what I'm going to do is go straight to my PC just to showcase that the PKGs are the same size as what the actual dump file says. So setting Kaguya should be like nine gigabytes. And I think Adventures of Pip, if I do recall correctly, since it's pretty late when I'm recording this, should be 150 gig or excuse me, not gigabytes, but megabytes. But with that being out of the way, let's jump onto the PC. Alrighty guys, I'm back onto my PC as showcased here. What I'm going to do is just open up any file in File Explorer and I'm going to show you guys my HDD. So if you remember from the start of the video, you could, you know, remember that I had the actual PKG that we transferred over. But as showcased here, you can see that Sadia and Kagya was 9 gigabytes as is stated on the actual program itself. And you can see here that it's, you know, officially dumped and you could tell by the timestamp of when it's been officially dumped as well one thing right here you can see that also adventure of pep the pkg that we reinstalled just to showcase earlier that this process fully works it's also my pkg and it's around you know 155 megabytes as i thought so what we're going to do as of right now um just for example if you wanted to transfer this to your desktop you can and if you wanted to like back it up or whatever uh you'll be able to do it for this process but with that being all out the way hopefully i did teach you guys on how to basically successfully dump your games this is a very easy to use method and hopefully there will be newer updates uh, for this so maybe in the future there could be an update on how to basically not just only dump the game but as well as extract the game itself and decrypt it or even you know such things as just dumping the dlc but with that being all out the way i am pretty sleepy right now it is 2 25 a.m as you guys can see here but i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching peace hey everyone it's me nagato's adventure hope you guys did enjoy today's video with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well is another method on how you will know when i drop my latest content whether it be for the vita ps4 ps3 and such and so forth as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace